Rearing leverets is not easy. Um, when we started this about four years ago, our success rate was only about 25%. And this was on a par with wildlife hospitals in England. And um, it got so bad that, that one of the um, carers I was in touch with was c seriously considering putting leverets down when they come in rather than have the stress of watching them sicken and die, no matter what we did for them. Um, I was of a mind that we had to keep going because somehow we had to find a way of rearing and releasing these wee things because they're so precious, especially here with our Irish hare in Ireland because they are locally extinct now in lots of areas and their numbers are going down um, frighteningly. So at first we thought it must be to do with diet because the usual thing that happened was they would come in, be okay for a couple of weeks and then they would go anorexic, they would get enteritis and then they would die. And some died within 24 hours and others it took up to three or four days. And um, so we concentrated on diet and but then uh, we discovered that stress had a bigger impact. And this is the stress that is hardwired into them by evolution. It's not what we would recognise as stress, as in, you can see here, this lever little leveret seems happy. When they come in and are so young, very tame, very friendly, they'll lick you, they don't seem to be stressed at all. But what we now know is that um, they need space and they need complete control of what they do, like they would in the wild. Um, for the first week to two weeks, it's okay to handle them, to feed them, uh, to keep them in the house if you need to. But as soon as possible, they can actually lap at a very young age. Um, we haven't got that down to a day, so we can't say it's at five days old. Uh, they all seem to be different in, in when they take to lapping, and it certainly is a lot easier, and they do it a lot quicker when there's more than one leveret. And what I do is, when I give them their, their nighttime feed, I simply leave some milk in with them, and if they have, have lapped at it in the morning, I know they can lap, and then they go out into the shed, and... Um, the milk is just put out for them and it's hands off, um, added of course to grass and hay and uh, whatever else we put in with them. Um, these little things are so adorable, it's very hard for people sometimes not to try and keep them tame. But what happens is, at some point, sooner or later, um, they will get stressed because they can't run. They have the need to run away from predators when they're frightened. They have to run, they have to know their territory. And if they can't do this, this starts up... Um, problems resulting from stress and uh, chemicals are released and they affect their, their internal organs and they can die from this. Uh, so it's really, really important to try and do the hands-off thing as soon as possible. We have found the optimum age to release them is about eight weeks. If we, in, w in our situation where we don't have a huge pen to put them in, um, you know, by eight weeks they're, they're ready to go. Um, what we, what we do feed them on is, our formula now is goat milk. We got a female goat, Nubian goat, because their milk is much higher in fat, much like a Jersey cow, but also much easier to digest than cow's milk. And we just milk the goat and give the fresh milk to the little ones. And they, they absolutely adore it, as you can see. They just can't get enough of it. Also, it's really hard to overfeed a leveret. I mean, as you'll see, at the end of this piece, when they've had enough, that's it, they just won't take any more. I always worry about the little ones that um, aren't good feeders because that is an indication that they won't do well. The ones that come in and feed well, usually we can rear and release without any problems. I'm happy to say that our release rate is now went up to 75% and for the last dozen or so leverets has been 100%. I don't know if it will stay at this high level. But um, certainly we have improved out of all recognition since we took the stress on board.